There we go. Okay, so first and foremost, the tier zero of this whole of this time period is of course Godforsaken Necroth, because of course it has to be. Yep. This thing this deck is so infinitely flexible for this time period. It can out, it can go first, it's crazy. Second strongest, I think, is go definitely gonna be this funny deck, Light Light Sworn Rulers, which you of course you grown at, but uh Eclipse Wyvern's at three. Each of the rulers and OCG is at one in this game. It's fucking insane. Also, Soul Charge is at three. So you can kind of go ham and just not even think of it. Soul Charge about. doesn't get banned until Thunder Dragons. It's crazy. Salar Knights. Uh, this is a really good deck that would take 2015 uh, YCS, I think. Or rather, it would take 16. I think it took Worlds in 2016, right? Yeah. It was, yeah, um, no, it was 2015 because Blue Eyes will be the mirror, was the mirror matches of YCS 2016, I think. Uh, Either one. Um, all to promote a terrible movie. Right? Mermails, I think. I have it up here. This is a fun oh. little deck. You really threw me for a loop there for a second. I did not I did learn Mermails because there is... Um, not that. What? For a second, I thought Malefic said Madolce. <laughs> Like, well, yeah, they're I at... I don't think Madolce is in this game, actually. They came out in 2012. They're definitely in here. I'll, I'll double check that, but that'd be cool if, if they are. Um, Black Wings. It's still got low skill ceiling. It's still infinitely splashable with a lot of things. This is a little bit more of a defensive variant that I no, this piece is, together. No, this is the build. This looks right. This is pretty this solid. Is the same build you would make in 2010. Yeah, I think it's a little more heavy on the spell cards, but still pretty solid regardless. Uh, so it's dumb, but Blue Eyes, if you splash in a whole bunch of different uh, dragon monsters, it can can do some work like you've been seeing before. This I am begging you to take out the fiendish chains that have not done anything once and please put some back row uh, removal in. Uh, Maybe. Those fiendish chains have, ain't done shit. Gishki. I have not made this deck yet, but the Gishki hand loop is in the game. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I think it's Ze not Zeal Gigas. It's, it's Gush Kraken. Yeah. Fucking shitter is in this game and you can use it. I have hand looped people for two or three. And artifacts. This is just a fun thing I like using actually. <laughs> Are you gonna make a hat deck? Uh, I probably should, but I don't really like trap tricks that much because I'm weird. But it it do be like that. Are you one of those people that thinks lollycon is the p word? No, I just don't like trap. I just don't like trap heavy decks. He says it's by having a URI deck made. You should make a drawdown deck. I don't know what that means. You just draw all their cards and lose. That's just called Exodia. <laughs> That's just called Mill. That's just called an Exodia. Oh, and Grand Maju deck too. Because a mill deck can backfire on you. Blasting the Ruins. Yeah, that, that one too. Or what was the, there was like a stupid ass um, near FDK deck that hit the boys were running in early history of Jank. I forget what exactly it was called, but they milled the entire, using like um, Monster Gate, they milled the entire deck. It's our job to, to start off by beating up some vapid teenagers. Maybe. So, Ishizu <laughs> erroneously <laughs> does have a story mode. <laughs> Everyone is all smiles around here, not like back in Egypt. Nobody ever smiled in Egypt. I think Egypt is, to be fair, a military dictatorship right now. So, fair. I don't know if they were in 1997, though. Hmm. Might have been. I don't know. So, erroneously, it, it has her own story mode. Why? Couldn't tell you. I guess they just needed someone else, despite the fact that Merrick would probably oh, be the next best one. one we've heard? Oh, right. Yeah, you're doing the thing. You had me hyped for a second. Oh, what would that be? That we might have actually seen one of the. Oh, it's still on there. One of those famous one on ones you've mentioned so much that we haven't actually seen yet. Oh, no. It would not just yet. They're all. Yeah, I thought for sure we would have one against uh, Kaiba, but we didn't. I'm just like, what? I thought for sure we did. Guess not. So. Light Ruler? Yeah. No, no, no. There actually is one deck I have made for her, and it is <laughs> this godforsaken monstrosity. Bless you. Thank you. I was going to say, what would she even use aside from. Gravekeeper adjacent. It is, in fact, pure uh, Gravekeeper. Oh. But there are ways you can fuck with it. It, it involves this goddamn thing. So, Malefic right. Stardust Dragon. Uh, if you do, I just don't know. When this king is on a field, face up field spells cannot be destroyed by effect. And it happens to protect a little stun card called Necro Valley. You Why can, aren't you running that spell that, go, that gets paired with Necro Valley that destroys all your opponent's stuff if you have Necro Valley? Great question. This is a deck. Uh, pulled from I think 2012. It actually did win a YCS, and it's notable because it's the only time Necro uh, Malefic has really topped anything ever, and it's very funny. I love this deck. I think they got a thing more recently than that. Maybe. To be absolutely fair, Gravekeepers is like a erroneously good deck that would continue to be good until like 
fucking 2015. I'm just like, how did... Damn, this is crazy. It is funny, too, because it's like the very first archetype ever, really. Technically speaking, if we don't count chaos. Yeah. Yeah, no, that... Guardians. Mm, yeah, I guess so. I would just, I'm going more by like named cars that can be searched by each other or some such. Yeah, Guardians. There's a Guardian that can. S Excuse me? Yeah, so uh, the thing about a Shizu story is that I guess we're saving people from uh, monsters that are running around. I couldn't tell you why this is happening. Also, uh, yeah, let's do uh, the translator, Click Clacker 01. Be sure to follow him on YouTube and show him love and support for this translation. Yeah, no, that's one of those 2007 memes. Yeah, uh, I, if I'm being real here, that's one of the. That's probably, in the grand scheme of things, that's one of the least offensive jokes in here. TFS did a killer with fire joke. They did. That was honestly everywhere back in the day, so it's fine. Do you remember what they used it on? No, I don't. Oh, wait, no. Bulma with uh, Zarbon's true form. Yes. It's nice to see that Malefic Unga Bunga can contribute to a good strategy. It can, until we get uh, Rank 10 Trains. Is Rank 10 Trains in this game? No. Wait, it might be, actually. Gustav is in this game. Gustav would be, Dora would not, because Dora didn't come out until 26. Oh, wait, this is OCG. It might. I'll have to look. I was going to say. I think we can run Trains and run the meme. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Royal Tribute. She's got That's it. The one. Is that Zombie? It is Zombie Tiger. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this story mode with the Shizu is <laughs> kind of weird because it doesn't really Hell follow. Hell yeah, Mystic Plasma Zone. I let's, love that card. Let's fucking go, but we won't have the really cool background anymore, so yeah. I was going to mention this earlier. This game is actually made on incredible shoestring bu budget, I'm pretty sure. You can partly tell that because of the fact that there is no more summoning animations for any monsters. Yeah. There's no backgrounds for uh, field spells anymore. And there's also all the reused dialogue from earlier Tag Force games for this game. It's kind of funny and also really disheartening because it's like this felt like it was either supposed to be like a reboot or like a send off for um for Tag Force as a whole and that makes me kind of kind of sad honestly. You know what this sort of reminds me of? What was that? How last Anyone? week I was showing you how all of the cut content from Storm 4 showed they originally planned to actually make a real story mode, but Bamco saying no, you need to get this out in under a year and a half from the last game's release means they had to cut any semblance of a story and just do the anime stills and not have any real animation or anything to show for it. Yeah. And that sort of feels... It feels the same in that this actually happened a year before, but it also just occurred to me every anime game that does that afterwards was inspired specifically by Bamco being cheap shitheads. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing. I love that card so much. Zombie Dragon? Zombie Dragon Zombie. I don't even know why. It's just one of the first cards I ever actually owned. It's just so dumb looking. I love it. Yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, uh, games like It, uh, Arslan, maybe right. Berserk for just using the movie footage. Uh, the My Hero games. Um, that kind of worked. The Jujutsu Kaisen game. Uh, Storm Connections, I guess, because they still didn't give them time or money. Yeah, true. Other things of that nature that just use the anime screenshots. Yeah. So luckily, because of Necro Valley and because a lot of the decks we will be up against is pretty much just zombie, uh, zombies and whatnot, we are going to have a huge leg up against all of them, pretty much. That being said, though, a lot of it is basically just uh, control, pretty much. Photon Thrasher? Photon Thrasher, because it is a free level four, effectively. I suppose so. We can deck this fucker out if we want to, but let's not get to that point. But we're kind of 3D stuff for non-Golden Age stuff, so it balances out. Yeah, but it's very cheap. I... I, yeah. I like the game myself, and I'll say, so they say even then. Yeah, it, it should add more. Storm 4 also had real cutscenes for when they ran out of anime. How about yeah. that? True. The Jujutsu Kaisen game has approximately four actual in-engine cutscenes in the game. This is unfortunately not terribly surprising. Hey, there it is. This game is nine hours long. Or at least the first run is, but that's also because it did a lot, did a lot of retries. What, the Jujutsu Kaisen game? Really? Yeah, because not because it's hard, but because it has a lot of, hey, you'll get bo uh, bonus items for uh, completing uh, conditions per individual uh, story battle. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to keep going until I get all those conditions met. I want to do everything in one run instead of doing it uh, several times later. Alex, which slam mod are you referring to? Because you could take that comment in one of two different directions. By all means, do tell us. 
That's the sex demon, right? <laughs> yes, it is. It's the succubus, basically. <laughs> like, did we card the monster? Are I we guess. are we the bad guys? <laughs> well, that was surprisingly easy. Nah, Pegasus is already come and gone. Yeah, fair. I will say that um, sometimes the, the loose script writing can be kind of fu actually make me giggle sometimes, especially with Ishizu, who normally is pretty straight laced and honestly kind of boring. Yes. No, definitely. Despite me thinking she's absolutely fucking gorgeous. Yes, I know I'm, I'm married, but I'm still going to make this comment anyway. My wife knows what I'm, what I'm about. It's fine. <laughs> Anyway, this is a very funny story that will actually go places. Kind of. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we were able to save you. Is this person our friend now, or...? Um... Big sad, I guess. Oh, is this still going on? That was the first mission. <laughs> no, it just... When does this story take place? I can't, I honestly can't really tell. I feel like it might, you know, oh wait, no, I think I know what it is. Is this I, after or I, have we not yet recruited Kaiba? I think it's post Battle City actually, because I think it's, uh, is she coming to terms with her, uh, her new life basically away from all the, um, uh, Gravekeeper stuff. All right. That might sound incredibly weird, but I feel like that's where it's going with that. Barbaros. You know, it's you, you you give a little, but I mean, skill drain is in this deck. I was gonna say, <laughs> you you wore meaning organ slant. Okay, it is well textured, but I'm not gonna I'm not be, gonna be out here and say that the the pig organ uh sex goddess is uh hot. All right. All right. So yeah, this is bas it's weird how the story is basically Ghostbusters. So you're just going on a date? I mean, certainly not might not be in the case, but she said not something quite. about show about you showing her around town. Right, that was it. Yeah, I guess this really is just post Battle City. Hmm. I can only imagine. Uh, wonder if this is after uh, Yami's already gone though. Oh uh, yeah, what are you doing here in Japan? Is regular you? Well, I'll get to that. <laughs> what? Um, her going her going back to Egypt. It's actually kind of funny. Yeah, no. Normally they just leave immediately. Yeah. The fucked up thing is they go back to Egypt and then go back to still being the Tomb Keepers. So it's like, you guys really finally have a life now. I mean, they sort, of have a this. Yeah. they sort of have a reason to keep doing it. They have to do it until Atem goes back home, so he hasn't done that yet. But yeah, I think the implication in the manga anyway, not the anime, is that he basically goes with them back to Egypt to just do it right away. True. Hmm. Oh no. What is he going to do? I don't think there is anything bad here. He is he is pervy grandpa man. There are multiple scenes in the anime of him groping Taya. Oh. Oh, so that is real. Okay. Yes. See, I it, I it didn't want to make assumptions. It happens multiple times. Ah. <laughs> the 13th grave. I love these Gen 1 cards. And Oh no, you said they wouldn't say it. <laughs> the gamer word, no! <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, put, turn it back to a car, into a car before we cause another uh, giant ad revenue poll. <laughs> nah, you see their face, they would totally say it. <laughs> this is just your average 4chaner, really. <laughs> hey, can we get Trial of Nightmare? I want a dual Trial of Hell. Fun fact, they actually released a card that said, that said Hell in it, in a kid's game in like 2002 and then they had to recall it and then rename it to Trial of Nightmare. Wait, no shit, really? Yes, give me a second. That happened in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god, that's hilarious. And also not That is kind of surprising cuz that actually somehow the QA was missed on that one. Clown zombie. I do appreciate everything else. All these normal ass monsters. Like look at this shit. Clown zombie, phantom ghost. Oh, that thing, right? That was, also, one, that was one of the Yugi's cards, I think. It's also one of the coolest old school card arts where it's just a sword going through a coffin. Yeah. What and it's censored that from the Japanese art where you could see blood pouring out of the exit wound. Equip one to a normal monster. If it, it battles a monster oh, with- Oh, there we go. Oh, shit, yeah, no kidding. If it battles a monster with a higher level, the equipped monster gets 500 attack times the level difference. That's 
Actually, kind of sick. Not gonna lie. Huh. All right. Well, uh, was it the Game Boy game? I think it was the Game Boy game. I'm not sure what you're talking talk about there. No, it was in the physical card game. All right. Let's see. Beast King Barbaro. Still sick fucking card. Also, if you manage to get onto the field, what? But yeah, the tribute summons it blows up everything. Probably held onto it in hindsight, but whatever. Can you just be in favor and stop for a second and just read the entire layout of this card? Momentarily. Uh, well, uh entire layout of what card exactly? Out loud. N this is real. This is real. Neko Gal number one. Beast. Flavor tech. Quote. A pussy fairy. Contrary to her lovely ability, she claws on her enemies. Pussy fa- Really? Yes. That- they somehow had- that slipped the, the crack somehow. Yes. Wow. Okay, then. That's a little saucy for me. Jesus. <sighs> First Erotum. A pussy cat fairy. Contrary to her lovely beauty, she claws on her enemies. There it is. Not nearly as funny, but also definitely much more appropriate. All right, so the classic Edison format uh, combo. Soul Drain plus Beast King Barbaros. Means that it's no longer under the effect of its effect. Yeah, that, that was what I just said. And as a result, it now has 3,000 attack for a normal summon. So good. Really, a lot of this game, you can get away with playing various formats and not really care too much. Like, you've seen a lot of DM uh, Duke characters don't have an extra deck, really. Yeah. Nope. Its follow-up would be nowhere near as interesting. Neko God number two, a fast and lethal creature with dangerous claws. Yeah, it's boring. Although, it's also... Oh, 1900 on six stars. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, there, there's another trap card. Nice. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, that's going to be a fat fucking beater. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, in terms of duels, this might be one of the least interesting uh, in, the ga in the game overall because we're playing dual stuns and... While that can be engaging for some people because resource management is kind of fun inherently in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. Uh, oh, wait, hello. Oh, wow, we just won. We just won. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to win this turn. Huh. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, if you construct Grave Coopers properly, you can fuck shit up alongside Ishizu. It's pretty fun. Are those sea spiders? They look like they're underwater. I don't know what you're talking Are you talking about with the monsters on the on screen? I didn't see anything along those lines either. He too was carded. <laughs> Be gone, vile spirit. Yeah, I guess so. That's also a thing, I think. Okay, so someone is just like reanimating these cards or turning them into real life. Yeah. This is a thing. This is a plot point they're taking from Ori Calcos. The power of the Ori Calcos turned monsters real. I feel like. Or rather. Man. Or rather, in the ancient world of Atlantis, all the Yu-Gi-Oh monsters were originally real monsters. Right. That that was that was a thing. And so all the real monsters came through, back to the real world. Yeah. Yeah. That checks. There was a card you used. I don't think I have any spider cards, Alex. Not my my deck, at least. Yeah. I'm not gaslighting you. Right now. Rank 10, 11, and 12, and rank 11. 10 and 12 spiders are real good, but I don't think those exist yet. Even then, they're situational. They don't, they're not warranting of the extra deck space. 